Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, the Bawanas, the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. I want to get into you another uh, Bible basics uh, topic. You know, basically, uh, pray for the brotherhood, you know, and um, just get straight into it. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication and the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You know, and, you know, pretty much, you know, in our, our daily prayers, our daily callings, you know, unto Yahweh, Shah, you know, you know, whether we praying for, you know, different spiritual gifts, more strength, more faith, or just even to talk to the Most High, you know, we supposed to keep the brotherhood in mind when doing so, you know, praying for, you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, who the Lord set up to teach us through the Spirit, you know, praying for the brothers, you know, from city to city, state to state, country to country, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, wherever brothers may reside, you know, in, in the brotherhood and, and what you labor amongst, you know, pray for brothers, man, you know, because, you know, you never know what, a, what the next man, what the next brother is going through. You know, and we all go through ups and downs in this truth, you know, and, you know, it could just be out the out the blue. You know, the Lord could just put the spirit upon you just to give a brother a call or, you know, to shoot a brother a text, see how he's doing, check up on him. You know, the brother could be going through something and, you know, and it just happened to be the spirit. And then the Lord put the spirit upon you, you know, to, to speak his words, you know, to comfort that brother in whatever situation in which he may be uh, going through, you know. And that's just how the spirit works. But that's why, you know, communication is a uh, key, you know, amongst the brotherhood, you know, what I'm saying to uh, constantly exhort brothers and, you know, just just to be there, just to be a brother, man. That's all. Just just to be a brother, you know, just to want to know that a brother's doing all right. How you how you doing? All right. You know, if a brother's not, you know, too well in the spirit, you want to do what you can for the spirit, you know, through the spirit for that brother, you know, if if. If need, if you can, you know, you just want to be there, man. You know, and that that's a part of this thing, man. And um, you know, one thing is, you know, also too that I want to say is that, you know, when a brother a brother may be going through something, you know, you should never look upon a a, a brother as far as what he's going through as just something light, you know, because what's light unto him in the spirit, you know, could be heavy unto you in the spirit, and what's Light unto you in the spirit could be heavy unto him in the spirit. Because we all face, you know, uh, different trials, tribulations. We all face different temptations. And accordingly, as it says in the scriptures, the Lord had given unto every man a measure of faith. So certain brothers take things differently. And we all had different spirits. So you got to be mindful of that, man. You know? And um, real quick, uh, I want to grab a uh, precept. This is uh, in the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 3. And it reads, Behold, thou hast instructed many, and thou hast strengthened the weak hands. Thy words have upholden him that was falling, and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. But now it is come upon thee, and thou faintest. It toucheth thee, and thou art troubled. Okay, so, you know, this, me pulling this scripture, you know, uh, is in reference to the last statement in which I just said that you don't want to look upon a brother as his situation as it's something like, because you could be there for a brother to pick him up in the spirit, you know, and or for whatever he's going through, you know, say for instance, you know, um, a brother may be going through a, a situation, you know, uh, with women, you know, a brother is weak unto women, but unto you, you know, woman is a light thing. So you pick that brother up in the spirit and, and be there for him. Now, in turn, you know, when the tables get turned around, now this brother is doing I in the spirit, but now you being troubled over over uh, the cares of this of this life, you know, whether it be your, your children or, you know, uh, your, your moms or somebody like that. You, you know what I'm saying? Worrying about other people in your family. And now, you know what? As I said, what? Well, but now what has come upon thee and thou faintest, it touches thee and thou troubled. Now you all vexed out of the spirit and, you know, and to the other brother, you know, and whom you helped, you know, the cares of this world is nothing unto him. You know what I'm saying? But he has the problem with with the woman. That's his, that's his main thing. 
you know. But as far as the family members and stuff like that, that's not a that's not a a, a big deal unto him. And now you all out of whack, you know. The scriptures say what there is one that that teaches many and is um and is unprofitable unto himself. So we always want to make sure that we profitable unto ourselves within this thing, and that when we giving you know spiritual advice, spiritual counsel once the brothers, you know what I'm saying that we're in the right spirit of this thing and you know. That we're, we're doing things accordingly, man, and, and never look upon another man's uh, afflictions in the spirit of whatever he's going through as, as a light thing. Because you never know, you know, when them tables turn around and, and something comes upon you and you take it all harshly and get extra bent out of shape, man, you know. Because the, brother, the brotherhood is, is, is very serious. And the things that you have upon your mind and your head, the most I will test you upon those things, man. So we have to be... Be careful of these things, you know. And um, this next uh, precept, uh, what I want to get? Yeah, the book of uh, James. Hold on, no, I want to grab something else. No, yeah, I grab, yeah, I grab the James. All right, cool. It's like yeah. Uh, it is the book of uh, James, chapter five, start at verse thirteen. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry, let him sing songs. Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Okay, so this is why it's important too from time to time, you know, amongst your congregation or brothers who you with, whatever, you know, uh, so ever what have you, you know, for brothers to do the anointing prayer over brothers, man. Whether it be just randomly, you know, you just, you know, just do it over, you know, uh, brothers in the camp or whether, you know, uh, you go around and you ask, you know, is any brother going through anything? You know, you need the anointing prayer over you. You know, that, that, that's key, man. You know, because prayer is, is a big part of our fight within this truth, man. You know, and, you know, you, some brothers take prayer lightly, but you shouldn't, you know, because it's very important, man. That's our that's our main tool you know uh, against fighting against these demons is prayer man calling upon that name man you know and you know and the brothers should be knowing you know that uh that uh, that anointing prayer man you know so at any given moment you could just be up with a couple brothers and you know a brother just might just get vexed in the spirit or anything hey just put that anointing prayer over him man you know or even when you when you do your fast yourself man. hey anoint yourself you know when why when you do a fast man you know uh, verse 15 and it says and the prayer of faith shall save the sick man so what we do all things by prayer within the truth man everything has to be done by faith when you put an anointing prayer over brothers you know what i'm saying what you you casting them demons off them you casting them burdens off them in the name of your house by, by faith by believing man you know and the prayer of faith shall save the sick you know from his uh various whether it be physical infirmities or any other mental ailments or infirmities he's going through, you know? And when I mean, you know, infirmities, just different plagues of the mind, I mean, you know? And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him, you know? Because the scriptures say, well, let not your, your sins and stuff weigh you down, man, you know? Verse 16, confess your faults one to another. And, you know, that's that's another thing, you know, um, you know, in this fight, you know, don't be scared to, you know, a admit your wrongdoings un unto brothers, man. You know, because if your brother's a brother, he's going to be there for you, you know, no matter what, to try to pick you up in the spirit, you know, to try to help you get right. So don't be ashamed, you know, you know, to come to talk to a brother about whatever it is you're going through. You know, first and foremost, you always consult with your how about me, how shy. you talking to the Lord. And then through that, the Lord can put the spirit upon a brother you know, to speak the right words unto you, man, through the Spirit. Or, you know, the Lord just might have, you know, a uh, uh, brothers talk to you through a video, you know, and it just happened to be the Spirit, you know. That's the Lord comforting you in those loneliest hours in which you go through. You know, so it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. Okay? The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know, so... You got to look at it when when brothers get in the spirit and you, and you pray powerful things can happen, man. You know, we brothers praying in the name of Yahweh Shout throughout the four corners of the earth for this place to be destroyed, man. 
You know, we bring down kingdoms through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in the prayer, man. You know, or look in the times of, of old in Egypt, man. Or any other captivity in which we was in and we was going off, we cried up unto the Lord and the Lord heard our cries, man. So how much more if a brother, you know, may have some demons on him or if a brother just may be going through different uh, uh, th plagues of the mind, you know, and he's troubled, how much more would that prayer work if you have a, a camp full of brothers praying over that brother or a various number amount of brothers praying over that brother and faith praying for that brother, you know, unto the Lord, man. It said what? The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, man. And the word effectual, I'm going to look that up real quick, just in, you know, regular uh, uh, definition, you know, effectual. Says what typically of some inanimate or abstract successful in producing a desired or intended result effective, effective, successful, pro productive, constructive, you know, worthwhile, helpful, beneficial, advantageous, valuable, okay, useful, efficacious, uh, valid, authentic, you know, genuine, official, legitimate, binding, you know, so what? The, the effectual prayer of a, of a righteous man, you know, is productive, man. You know, it, it, it helps to get through, man, you know, for, for brothers in that time of need, man. So this prayer, you know, is, is very important within our fight, as I said. And, you know, we just got to constantly be mindful, you know, to, to pray for the brotherhood, pray for, you know, new brothers in the faith coming in, you know, that the Lord increase them, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and strength and faith within this time. You know, and, and pray for, you know, uh, uh, brothers throughout the four corners that, you know, the sincere Akim, you know, that we endure this great fight of afflictions in which we go through every day. Because we all trying to, you know, just just uh, make it to the kingdom, you know, and, and receive that, you know, that, that, that one penny, man. You know, we all in this thing for the same reward, man. So, you know, just, just constantly be mindful to pray for brothers because you never know what another man is going through. You know, and you want brothers to pray for you when you're going through various, you know, uh, trials, tribulations, and afflictions as well, man. So, you know, with that, I hope this uh, segment was uh, edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, double one to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the luck out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. Shalom and death to America.